Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how we can create different store views for our website in Magento 2. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing the translation part for the product data, categories, attributes, attribute options for the selected store view itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop onto the store front and let's see how the store view works, how the customers would be able to select their particular store view and how the particular uh, store changes according to the locale selected by the customer there and the rest of the workflow at the admin's end as well. So here I am at the storefront right now, as you can see, and on one of the categories, that's the watches categories. This is just a demonstration purpose, so I've just set the name to watches there. But the products are a combination of different uh, kinds there, as you can see, with t-shirts, some mouse, some batteries, some landscape. Now, whenever a customer arrives uh, on a particular page uh, there, or the homepage of your website, and he wants to change the locale to his particular language then he'll find one language chooser in the header here as you can see so here in the top we have the default store view uh, that shows the default store view uh, now if you have not configured the uh, what we say as a store views for your website then uh, you won't be having this default store view and the particular website would be displayed in the default language that you have set up now if you are setting up the different store views and those store views would be available here uh, for selection by the customer so here as an example you can see that i've created one store view with the name arabic so for example i'm an uh, arabic person and i'm coming to this particular website that's in the english language so the default store view is displaying the language in the english language but i want to convert it into my own language so I can choose the language chooser from here or the local changer and I can choose Arabic for the same so for example if I choose here Arabic the complete store view would be changed so for this demonstration I've just converted a few of the places uh, and the options there in the Arabic language so here you can see that the uh, categories have been changed in the Arabic language the category name here as well has been changed into the Arabic language uh, I have changed one of the attributes uh, language to the arabic language the attribute value options have been changed into the arabic language for the rest of the uh, attributes i have not converted them so that's why they are still showing in the english language there the same goes with the product here for this red t-shirt as you can see the name of the product is in arabic language itself so if i tap on this particular product and i open this particular product uh, you'll be able to see that uh, the content on the product page would also be converted into the Arabic language there because we have chosen the store view in the top as Arabic as you can see so here you can see that the product name is in the Arabic language uh, the short description is in the Arabic language you can also tell us set up the long description in the Arabic language under the more information section where we have the product attributes here as well you can see the attribute name is in the Arabic language and the values uh, two different values are there both are in the arabic language as well so for this demonstration i've just uh, uh, converted a few product attributes a single product attribute here uh, the product name uh, the product sku the short description here and i've uh, changed the uh, category names into arabic language as well as you can see there so all in all what i've done is i've uh, translated the product uh, data categories and attribute attribute options according to this selected store view there so this is how the store view works at the storefront for the customers so the customers can choose their particular locale and can convert the uh, what we say as the language of the store into their preferred language there itself so for example if i go again to the watches category here and you can see that we are have selected here as the default store view it's in the english language so everything is in the english language there now kindly note that uh, for uh, the options uh, that have the scope option available only for those we can manually uh, translate the language into the particular store view that we have created uh, and for the uh, hard-coded things like for example compare products my wish list or on the product page if i go to the product page like add to cart button uh more information section reviews for these to be converted into the respective store view uh what you need to do is you need to install a language pack for that 
and after the installation of that particular uh, for example arabic language pack all of these uh, things would be changed into the arabic language including the add to cart button text would be changed into the arabic language add to wish list add to compare uh, more information reviews these would be changed into the arabic language after ins installing the particular arabic language pack with the new magento 2 installation that itself so this was how the store view works at the storefront now let's see how we can add a store view and how it gets visible at the storefront for that let me log into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the sign in button so now let me do it once again and admin and let me enter the password and let me tap here on the sign in button thereafter so it's very really easy to uh, create the store view so what you need to do is for your website uh, so what you need to do is you need to navigate through stores and all stores this would display a complete list of stores uh, that you have uh, so here to create a store view you can tap here on the create store view you can see that I've created the Arabic one for the main website itself so for different websites you can create different store views for the stores uh, of the respective websites there so for now let's uh, choose uh, French as the language that we want to add uh, for the main website there so what I'll do is I'll tap here on the create store view and this would bring up the new section here so here we have to choose the website for which uh, this store view is being created so I'll choose it as main website for now because we are only having a single website right now then we'll be setting up the name of the language French I'll set the code for the same fr i'll set it as enabled and i'll set this sort order for the same to be visible on the front end here at the front end there so after this i'll tap here on this save store view and i'll tap here on the ok button thereafter now after we have saved this store view the particular store view would be available at the storefront for the customers to select but the translation would have to be done by the admin by installing the language pack for the same and doing it manually so here you can see that the french uh, store view has been created for the main website there now if i go to the front end and i, I refresh this page here we'll see that after the default store view under the default store view now we have the french language as well so if we are choosing the French, the content would be changed into the French language, but that would have to be done manually for the categories, product data, attributes, and we have to install the language pack for the same. Then only after the customer has selected the, for example, we have selected it as French, then uh, the particular one would be converted in the respective locale there. So uh, this was how uh, we can add a store view and how the store view gets visible at the storefront. Now let's all, uh, see an already created store view that's the Arabic one. So if I tap here on the store view, that's the Arabic one that we had created. So here you can see that we have chosen the main website as the, as the store. The name is Arabic, the code is AR, the status is enabled and the sort order is uh, zero for the same. And then what I've done is I've saved the store view. After saving the store view, the store view comes, uh, gets visible here at this uh, front end as you can see under the default store view drop down here that you can see for the language chooser as you can see here. Uh, now let's see how uh, we can translate the categories, products, uh, data, attribute, attribute values to the respective language for the uh, selected store view. For that what we need to do is let's go to this catalog first and categories let's see how we can translate the categories for the according to the selected store view at the front end so here uh, one thing i wanted to show you is uh, uh, here uh, for example i have watches so i'll go to the watches category here i have the watches category and men's watches is the sub category there and i want to change the watches category uh, into Arabic language so that whenever a customer chooses the Arabic language for example Arabic the name of the category changes into Arabic and the subcategory also changes into Arabic as well so for that what we need to do is uh, for that what I'll do is I'll go to the watches category and here I'll choose the scope as the Arabic one you can see that the French one that we had created the store for the main website that is also visible here 
So if I choose French, then we can convert it in the French. It can be done according to the Arabic one that I'm going to show you. So for Arabic, I'll choose it as OK. This would be displayed as this, as you can see right now. Then here, what we need to do is initially, this would be use default value. Do you have to uncheck this? And then you have to replace the category name with the Arabic translation there. Similarly, you can go with the content as well. For the search engine optimization, you can go with the URL key as well, meta title, meta keywords, meta description as well. And uh, after you have changed the name here, you have to save this up. After saving this up, whenever the customer chooses the Arabic language at the storefront here, from the local changer, the particular local would be changed uh, and the category would be translated into the Arabic language there. Now let's see how it works for the product. The same goes with the products as well. You have to open the product in the edit mode and then you have to change the scope to the particular store view. So let me show you that. So for this example, let's choose the red t-shirt and here I'll choose the scope as Arabic so that we can set up the language translation for the Arabic store. I'll choose Arabic. I'll tap OK on the prompt there. And this would basically display this particular section. So here initially it would be selected as use default value. We have to uncheck that up and then we have to give the product name in Arabic language, the SKU in Arabic language. Uh, then here you can see that the category has been selected in Arabic language as well. Under the content, we can give the short description in Arabic language or uh, if you want to give the long description that can be also given in the Arabic language as well as per your own requirement there. For the search engine optimization, you can see that you can give the URL key, uh, the meta title, meta keywords, meta description in the Arabic language as well for the product there and then you need to tap here on the save button. Now what that would do is that would change the product name as you can see here. The product name is changed. The SKU is changed into Arabic language. The SKU is changed into Arabic language. The description, short description is changed. So this was about how we can change or how we can translate the categories and the product uh, data there uh, into the Arabic language. Now let's see how we can do it for the attribute. So for that, for example, let's go to the stores and product under attributes. Now here uh, I wanted to show you one thing. Let me choose the store view as a default store view that's in the English language. And after that, I'll just go to one of the categories that's the watches category. So here you can see that under stores and product, I have one of the attributes there that's the activity uh, one. So if I open this activity product attribute, you can see if I scroll down here, I have the Arabic store view that I had created. I have the French store view. If you are adding more store views, those store views would be listed here. And here, according to the Arabic, I have said the gym as in Arabic and the travel as in Arabic. And for the attribute, attribute name, I've said the activity as in Arabic. So now the same is visible here as well. If I go to the category page here, on the left hand side, we can see the particular uh, activity. Right now it's in the default store view, activity, gym and travel. So now if I choose it as Arabic as a store view, you can see that the conversion would be or the translation would be there. And here you can see that the activity has been changed, gym and travel has been changed into the Arabic language, right? So that's how uh, we can translate the categories, product data, attribute, attribute values to the respective language for the selected store view. And that was how the store view, uh, store view works at the storefront, allowing the customers to select the particular locale and according to the chosen locale, the particular page or the content of the page changes into the respective language there. So yes, that was much about this particular uh, video tutorial uh, about how to add different store views for your website in Magento 2. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.